Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com. I want to show you iOS 7 for the iPad. Now with this, we get the control center, which we saw on the iPhone 5 and 4S and 4. We have access to our music controls, quick toggles for airplane, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, do not disturb, and orientation lock. On this one, the iPad 3, we only have an AirPlay toggle right here. We can change the brightness, access the clock, and quick access to the camera. This is available from any screen, including the lock screen. We also have the new Today mode in the Notification Center, which is also available on the lock screen now, too. We're going to see our calendar, some important information about the day, reminders, and if we tap on, if we had a calendar event here, we could tap on it, and it would jump right into the calendar. Now this works in both portrait and in landscape. And so here, if we're in the new version of Safari, you can see that we can still get into this. So here's the new version of Safari. We still have tabs along the top here, so you don't have to go to a tab carousel like you do on the iPhone. This is nice, you have a little bit more screen, so it's handy to deal with that. Uh, we have one bar here for searching and entering web addresses. So you can go to our top hit and launch the site, or you can go to uh, a search straight from that page. You get to go to wherever you want, and we also get the nice ability to go back with a swipe, so we get some gesture control from the side to switch between those. Siri is also updated. What's on my calendar this week? So now Siri is full screen, we hear the new voice, you can choose between male and female, sounds a little bit more realistic, and we get this nice layout that offers a lot more access to what's going on, so you can tap on something, and it'll launch right into your calendar to see what's going on there. We also have new folders, so if we were to go into a folder here, uh, you can see there's a little indicator, so there's multiple items there. So you can swipe between them, so we get that same type of um, animation there. It seems a little sped up in the new version of iOS 7. And there's also a spotlight, so if I pull down, I can search from anywhere on the iPad and get to where I want. And here's a nice thing right here. We have a new notification that goes across the whole top, and it's really nice to quickly see that. Um, that's a quick look at iOS 7. If we go into iTunes, if this is already configured, we should be able to see the radio. Or, I'm sorry, that's not in there. That would be in our music app, which we'll have to find with a search. And so we can go into iTunes Radio, which is now on the iPad, as well as the iPhone. And we can pick from different stations. This is kind of a Pandora competitor, or a Spotify Radio competitor. And you can see there's stations that I had already on. My other iOS devices are available here, or I can jump in and select from those that are already on here. So that's a quick look at iOS 7 on the iPad. You can head over to gotabemobile.com to check out more about this and learn how you can get iOS 7 for the iPad today.